Hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. I am without makeup this morning. Um, I thought I would do it on the video and um, maybe, I don't know, someone would want to see that. I don't know. We will see. I wanted to show you this cup that I have. Isn't that cute? It's for Christmas. Um, I got it at Walmart. I live in a town. We don't have a mall or we don't have a Target. We don't have any stores, you know, anything really but Walmart. So we're in the Pacific Northwest. Anyway, this is a cup from the Pioneer Woman collection years ago. It's huge. It's a huge cup. I have some tea in it. Mm. So good morning to you. Um, I hope you're doing well this morning. It's Wednesday. I'm just going to get started. I had shown you this before um, really quickly the other day. I use the Avino Baby. I'm 55, like I said, trying to stay as youthful as I can. Um, the Beach Bay from L'Oreal, it has a sheen to it, definitely. But I put it on and I put it on under my foundation and it seems like um, it doesn't, it looks fine. And maybe it's actually good as far as, um, you know, it, where it's not too shiny. I feel like underneath my foundation is just fine. So I'm gonna try and move quickly because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna take way too long. So, so far, if you're interested, the Avino Baby. So in my other video, just a few days ago, I was talking about how sunscreen, I'm really sensitive to it, and it actually burns my face. And it's like, I would rather have had a, sun, a slight sunburn from being outside than the sunscreen. So this is the baby one, and it's for sensitive skin. Um, sensitive skin right there and it's 50 I don't know so that's what I'm using um and I think I showed you that I just kind of pat it dry I do have some paper towels today so that's good um I have my trusty little fan that I would normally not know what to do with this and it would probably go to goodwill or something to be very honest uh, so while that is drying, I'm going to put on my um, eyeshadow primer that I really like. And the kind that I like is the Milani. So I'm just using my stuff, you know, that I use and the stuff that I think is good um, that I have found for myself. <clears throat> and a lot of stuff is is hardly there and a lot of stuff is broken i'll show you anyway this is the the milani eyeshadow primer i've used more expensive i've tried i should say more expensive eyeshadow primers and this i think is the best so i'm just putting a little on my finger this is what i do and then I do this. So right now the sunscreen and Beach Bay is on my face. Let me do this. And it is um, drying. And next I'll put on my um, foundation. So I just apply it, I pat it on. And then because I use eyeshadow underneath, I also kind of pat underneath a little, whatever's left on my finger. Let me switch sides. And put some of that on there like so and pat 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 um it works pretty well i really like it so i figure now this is drier than this let me move on to the foundation which i use the fit me for dewiness not the mat <clears throat> And again, <laughs> it's this, and it is number 120. Okay, put this on. So it's the middle of the week. How's your week going? 
I had um, lunch yesterday with my friend who is, I was telling you, is old enough to be my mom. I don't know why I said that. Just that, you know, if I was, I just think it's cool to have friends of different ages, you know. And um, she's doing well, so that was nice to see her and to spend some time with her. And I felt like I was a pretty good listener. Although, what was interesting was she, I think she came to our lunch feeling the same way I did. Because she um, wanted to ask about me. And I kept going back to her. Like, so tell me more. Or tell me what's new. And she's just wonderful. And hopefully um, she felt heard by me. Um, I also like to use these little tiny mirrors that are extremely, they're like 10 times the magnification. I have a little bit of redness, like a, like little red blood vessels that have broken here. So sometimes I put a little extra foundation there. Alrighty. So there's that. Get a little sip. Did you get yourself some coffee or tea? Mmm. I hope so. So, I should say that in the beginning. Let's get our tea and our coffee. Um, now, what I like to do, look at this little setup I have going on here. My eyebrows aren't too bad. I am noticing white eyebrow hairs that are super stiff. And I pull it, pull it out. I don't know if I should. I'm like, should I pull it out? Or am I going to color these someday? <clears throat> anyway, oh my goodness, this is, how come I don't, I'm really sorry, it's ash brown I'm using, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I don't have the, the what kind it is, but it looks like this, of course that's dirty, right, when you're showing your friends, looks gross, but you know, I'm just being real. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I didn't read on it or anything, so I wasn't sure exactly. I just did my own thing. So what I do, it came with a little little brush thing and a little spoolie, but I lost it. It probably is underneath the bathroom counter or something like that because it fell. So I'm using this, this brush and I'm just going, I kind of get this kind of waxy stuff right here. And then I go into this, and then I just boop one time on that extra dark stuff. And then I kind of mark it off. And then I just, I just, this is what my eyebrows look like now. So I'm probably going way too slow. I need to hurry up, I guess. And I'm just going through my eyebrows. Of course, you could always use a pencil or something if you have less eyebrows than I do. Speaking of a pencil, look at this guy right here. I'm not crazy about it. It's really, really thin. So I don't really use it. It's so thin. It's so super thin. Um, so anyway, I needed a spoolie. So, you know, you're just trying to make it the best way you can. So I used the spoolie side of this one. So now this is what it looks like. I'll go to the next one. Into this kind of waxy stuff. Into the lighter and one dip in the darker. And I'm just going to go along like this. Can you see me? This room I'm in is kind of a, it's an office slash uh, it's sort of, I'm kind of deciding what it's going to be, but I do have my desk in here. So anyway, there's the eyebrows. So I'm figuring now that and this is what I do. So, of course, my stuff breaks. Does yours? I bet it does sometimes. Drives me crazy because I feel like I'm really gentle with stuff, uh, with my products. So, um, the lid doesn't want to stay on. Um, so, I put it on and then I use a hair tie. This is the kind of hair tie that I always used to use that, that if I decided, oh, let me run to the store and let me take my hair down take this out, it leaves a um, crease in my hair and I never liked that. And plus, supposedly this can cause breakage as well. 
Um, but so I'm using it here and I just kind of do this and I stuck my two utensils or two helper things in there and then I just keep it like that. So, so why don't I take my handy dandy fan and I do this because I want it to get dry in there as much as possible. All right, this really does help. It feels good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do, this is probably boring, the Milani Sunkissed and go around. I don't want to take too long for you guys. It's already been 10 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious. My nose. And then just a little around. Oh, this keeps creeping up. A little around in here. Do, do, do. Okay. And then I'm going to skip this. In my other video, I used the Milani blush, but now I'm just going to go to the Cheek Heat by Maybelline. Have to be really careful getting it out. Oh, it came out just fine. It's very, you know, I wish it was more thinner there, like a longer. So let's see. I never made it to storage the other day. So I'm going to go to storage today <laughs> and get some Christmas stuff. We all have some Christmassy looking stuff in the background. You can't really see anything, but I have that desk back there. Um, let's see. There we go. Not too bad. And something that I <clears throat> like to do as well is I have this Maybelline. It's called Master, uh, New Master strobing stick it's an illuminating highlighter i've had it a very long time this is what it looks like and the number i have is 100 it looks like this there's a lot left like i you don't need very much at all so what i use it for is i put a little on my finger and i put it on the end of my nose and then kind of right here i think looks kind of good another thing i do is Take a little on my pinky so I just kind of dab it a little bit on my pinky and you know how people women are putting like a little highlighting right in there so I've been doing that I don't know if you can tell the difference I really like this though this little stick thing Let's see and I don't like it to be too much so I might rub some of that off so since I'm going to be doing eyeshadow next, I do like to use this also for under the brow because I just would rather have a little bit of sheen, a little bit of sheen on my brow. I also use it on my lid sometimes as well. And I like to have, make sure that that's rubbed in pretty good. So this does have a slight color to it. Oh, I have some sleep in my eye. That's not good. Okay. All right. Now, the one that I am using right now is, um, like, it doesn't matter to me what the product is or the name. Um, and I've, I've been using this Maybelline The Blushed Nudes. As you can see, I've been using it. And it's... When I say dirty, I don't mean dirty with dirt. I like to rub that in a bit. I just mean, you know, messy, dirty. You can see what I use. <laughs> I bought a new one of these. I, I probably should have used that instead for you guys. Regular old brush. I'm dipping it in the kind of pink. Um, it's a pink um, frost. So I'm also going to go into this one right here, which is a matte. And I'm gonna, I usually don't blow on it too much, but I, I, I touched it where you can do that. Um, and I'm going to put that in there. I'm doing the, um, the lid and then I'm going up. So 
sound like it's raining outside. And then also I'm gonna take this brush because there's not hardly any on here anymore. I'm just gonna go underneath. And I don't know if you can even tell. Let me do that again. Can you see me? So. And then go underneath a little bit. I just like to make sure. It... I have kind of a space there. So wherever you stop, you know, you stop. And now I have <clears throat> another brush that I'm going to, actually not that one. I like this brush right here for the crease. I can get it. I don't usually have my makeup in here, so I have to bring it in, you know, in my makeup bags into this room. So this is kind of a, I don't know if this is a dome brush or not, but I kind of think it is. And I'm gonna get a little of the dark color right here. Right here. And put that kind of in the crease area. If you don't have a crease, I don't know, I, I do. It's not major, but there's a lot of videos on, on hooded eyes. Um, so if you can make your crease first, then do this. If you wanted. So, there, so. That's how it's looking so far. Now I'm gonna use this little brush because it's a, like a kind of more of a flat brush. And I, I want to go between that stick that I used for the little highlight and that frosted dark pink there that I worked on my lid and all the way up. Now I'm gonna, I wanna use this and get something a little lighter Actually, I'm gonna use a different. I have, all my stuff is kind of broken. This is e.l.f. and everything in here is matte, as you can see. This is, it's called, it's super pigmented, it says, it's mad for matte, nude mood from e.l.f. And I do like it a lot. I'm gonna use kind of this color here, this color and this color, or no, yeah. So some of this and then a little bit of this, knock it off. And then I like to kind of just, as kind of a, like a middleman there, just like a go between like a warmness. Um, I like to put it there. So this is this is my daytime look. Might be more makeup than you usually wear yourself. To each his own. I I like this little brush for under the eyes. So I'm gonna tie the dark that I used in the crease. I'm gonna tie it in, just touching it barely. I'm blowing on it because I'm doing my own makeup. So if you're doing someone else's makeup, you don't want to blow on it. And I'm just going to go underneath. Get a little more. Go underneath. So this is just what I do. Do you guys do videos yourselves? Do you have your own channel or anything? So there's that. I hope you like it. Um, now, I am going to do the eyeliner. So I do eyeliner all different ways. Right now I'm gonna use this guy right here. This is 
this big fat thing here. It's Wet n Wild Multi Stick Color Con. And it's just black. But I'm not gonna, you know, it's way too thick. So, ooh, ooh. so this brush that I was using that I applied that pink frost um, in the very beginning has this end, which I really love. I like to take it and do this, get some of that on there. And see if you can see. I wish I could see all of yours, how you put your makeup on. Maybe you could put a video in the comment section. If you don't do a channel or, you, you know, or if you do a channel, I'll go look at it. Um, so you can see it's getting on there. It's probably better to pat a little bit. And I don't go all the way across with the black. I do the other side so I'm not lopsided all day. I'm just kind of doing this. And wonder what the weather's like where you guys are. I know that um, people are getting snow. I think we're going to get snow soon. And are you from another state, or excuse me, another country by chance? So I'm getting that on there. Looks a little choppy in my opinion. So there's some other things I'm gonna do though. So I'm gonna wipe that off. I have this right here that I was given, it's Morphe Smoke and Shadow. Um, it has so much fallout, I just cannot even tell you. Look at it, it's messy, I know. But you know what, a lot of it's not my fault, it's because it has such great fallout. Ugh. But there's a black right here, black right here, that I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit on and I'm gonna mark it off, like stamp it on the paper towel and even blow on it because this this really has fallen out. I like the saturated black of it. Now, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna pat because I don't want all that fallout. And so far, so good on my cheeks. Uh, can you hear that water? Right by this window, we need to get a rain gutter and we don't have one. So the water pours and we need to get one right away. Anyway, get a little more of that. Kind of stamp it off, blow on it. And then I'm gonna pat on this side. Oh, there's some fallout. So, what do you think? I hope you like it. I mean, it's just what I do, it's just me. Then, something I like to do is take this gray. There's also a gray in the e.l.f. Say you wanted to get this e.l.f. I use it, as you can see, this gray right here. But because I have the Morphe one out and open, I really, really, really like this gray blue right here. It's, it's like a steel blue. I'm gonna dip my little thing in there and I'm gonna stamp it off, because like I said, great fallout with that Morphe palette. Ugh, blow. And then what I like to do is I like to take it, so I didn't go all the way across, I stopped. Like where the color of my eye is, the iris of my eye, I kind of stopped right where that, you know, right where the, it ends on the in, inner corner and the inside of my eye. Um, and now I'm going to take this and just kind of stamp it right near the inner corner. So can you tell a difference? This eye has the gray. Let me see if I can see it on here. Maybe you can, <laughs> but I think you can in real life. Great fallout. I need to do all the things. I kind of touch. 
I touched the paper towel with it. I even like went like that and I blew. But I was a gift and I appreciate it and I use it. So I'm just gonna pat that in. Oh yeah, you can see that. And it kind of gives it a smoky look, I think, cause it kind of smokes out from the black. And I like that look. And I kind of, that's really, one of my earlier videos, I used the black kind of all the way across. But it can kind of make my eye look too round. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about my tea and my cute little Christmas cup. Mm. Let me see if that's helping. If I can just wipe the fallout away, then I'll just do that. And it, it looks pretty good. Um, something I've done before too, if you feel that your, um, the eyeshadow that you put on is still falling down as the day goes on, I sometimes I'll go and I'll just use a cute clean Q-tip and I'll just kind of pat it and get any, anything that's gonna get, gonna fall on this. You know what I mean? So, I meant to bring a particular lipstick in with me today, but I didn't. What time is it? Oh my goodness. So, well, all my other videos that I've done recently are short, so I hope you guys like this long one. For something a little different, maybe you're putting your makeup on, you can listen to me. And, and I can keep you company in the morning or something when you're getting ready to go to work. Um, so, let's go ahead and do the mascara i've bought this before i've purchased this before and i really need i have purchased other ones afterwards but i i did like it and again it seems like i'm always at walmart doesn't it but i don't buy everything at walmart but i do buy some things there makeup is a good thing um this was actually in the line uh in the checkout line and it pulled me in and I needed a new one anyway so so this one's brand new I've used it only one other time it's black uh, I probably shouldn't put this on with you guys on here because I have to with using my phone I can't pause it so I'm just putting this on I don't curl my last lashes or anything but if you do curl your lashes curl your lashes <laughs> Not that you want my look that I'm doing, but if you did, you want to curl your lashes first if you need to. And then I have a little. Anyway, so I like to do my bottoms too. You know, some people don't use, some women don't use their bottoms. Some, some women don't use their bottoms, their bottom lashes. We all use our bottoms, don't we? <laughs> Oh gosh. So I'm probably going to put another coat on. If I, if there's clumps, I like to go, I don't want to get this in my, you know, in my eye lashes because it'll put all that fuzzy fun stuff in there and it'll bug me all day long. But I like to just use the core part, that stem part of the Q-tip and just roll it if I need to. And it kind of gets gets any of those little little things off. Any any like clumps. So are you guys going to work today? Are you what are you doing? What is your day like on a Wednesday? I wonder. I wonder what your life is like today. Um, this isn't the best color for me, but it's what I have in here in this room and I can't pause you. I have a little better color in my purse, but I saw a lady mention this, these, um, I don't like those, those lipsticks that, that stay on all day and all that because it like, it sucks the life out of your lips and it feels tight, but she recommended this Maybelline. It's a... Oh, sorry. It's a color stay. It's a color stick. 
it's matte. And this particular color is, well, I can tell you it's number 65. I can read that part. So I bought a few. I bought this color that I don't, I think it's a little bit too, mm, I don't want to say orange. It's not orange. But for me. So what I usually do, so I have some other ones that I like better that you'll probably see in future videos. But I like to just put a dot here because it's very, very pigmented. Hopefully I got enough. And then I just, this might not be the right thing to do in your opinion, but I just take my finger and move it around like so. And it is a little, you know, it's matte and it does get that dryish feeling a little bit, but it's not as bad as others. And I, I can put some like chapstick on. If you don't like the matte look, which sometimes I don't, I go back to my handy dandy um, glow stick that I used here and here. And I put a little of that on my, not like that. Mm -hmm. That's it. That is all. I'm thinking about trimming my bangs. Oh, and I have my Walmart earrings that I can wear, you know, 10 times before I throw them away. They're like five bucks or something. But I really like hoops. I always have. I'm a hoop girl, hoop woman. And that's it. I've been awake since 3 a.m. We have a little dog that needs to go outside and she's older. As a matter of fact, she was in my very first video. She is still around. She's 17 and a half years old. And her name is Champy. And she's my son's dog. And we love her so much. And she can't see. And so she can't go out the doggy door anymore. And so I have to take her outside um, for every time she goes to the bathroom. And I am happy to do it because it's an honor to take care of her in her old age. She is the sweetest little thing. Um, do you guys have dogs? They're just the best. And actually, we have cats too. I didn't grow up with cats. Um, and we've accumulated cats simply because, you know, um, there was a kitten outside or, you know, a feral cat had babies. We got the feral cat fixed and found homes for the babies and we kept one. Sweetest boy. His name is George and he's laid back and he's sweet. Anyway, I really like cats now. I mean, I never didn't like cats, but we just didn't have any growing up, but they're amazing also. Anyway. I just want to tell you that I really appreciate you watching my video and hopefully you enjoyed it and I will make one again tomorrow. That's my plan. I'm going to finish my tea and I'm going to do my best to have a great day and to um, just make it a good one and get stuff done that I want to get done and not put it off and um, all that. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. It was really wonderful spending time with you and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Out. Here I go.